Hello. Hey. Clay Aiken. How are you? Dude, welcome to the show. Well, welcome to superstardom, my man. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm telling you what, you are a superstar. Well, we'll see. <laughs> you don't, are you feeling it yet? I mean, are you feeling like, hey, I, I'm sorry, I'm really somebody. I'm on the cover of Rolling Stone. I'm everywhere. Uh, you, I mean, you are like America's pop star right now. Well, it's, nah, I don't know about that. It's kind of weird to look at it because, you know, I, I see the cover and I see these things like, and I'm like, that's just me. I mean, everybody gets excited about the, the picture on the cover of Rolling Stone. And like, man, you're Rolling Stone. I'm like, no, it's just a picture of me. Come on. It, I mean, it, it looks like, to me, it's like one of those carnival pictures that you take at the fair and they put you on the cover of People magazine and all that type of stuff. Really? I mean, it's just a picture of me. It's, it's very it's it's interesting. What are some total changes, like culture shock wise, that you have going on during your day now? That I mean, because before you were like you know camp counselor, working with kids and everything, and I'm sure you missed that part of it. But what are some things that you do now that you never ever thought you would ever be doing? Um, I never thought I'd be I wouldn't be able to walk down the street and go to the grocery store without you know being stopped or wearing a hat. Now you have people like with you at all times now, right? Um, for the most part, and I think that's that's one of the things that I miss the most is being able to do it by myself. I mean, I do I do have people who go with me wherever I go. If I if I just want to go, I wanted to go to McDonald's yesterday, and I had to get a I wasn't allowed to go without a troop of people. Really? So, uh, so it's <laughs> that's that's kind of that's something that uh, is is very hard to get used to. So you have like a bodyguard and everything. Yeah. Do you get, guess, to, pick, right do you get so. to pick your bodyguard, or do they put people on you? No, they assign somebody too, but he's a good guy. I like him a lot. He's cool. Yeah. Is he a big black guy? He's about six foot seven. Is he black? What does that matter? I'm just curious because most bodyguards are black. I mean, like I see Britney Spears and Janet Jackson and everything, and they always have these big black guys around them. Well, he he he. Let's just say he could beat you up. So he's a black guy. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just saying, you know, because I think that they're more intimidating. To be honest with you. He is. Yeah. I'm a, I, I guess he. Can, I think anybody can be intimidating, but he is. Yeah. So Clay, you're rolling with like thugs. Are you rolling on dubs and lim on the limo? Um, no. I, we usually take a regular old car. Really? Yeah. It's. You're pimping. You got black friends now. That's awesome. I do have a couple questions here. Uh, <laughs> now, with Ruben, like, winning, now I'm talking, like, small margin of victory here. You right. know? 134,000 votes. Are you at all a little pissed off? At all? I mean, about losing at all? I mean, just a little bit or what? No, or no, 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 no. I'm not upset about it at all. I mean, I think that the fact that, I mean, I'm, I'm, I knew it was going to be close. We all knew it was going to be close. Right. I mean, it could have gone either way, and it, and it really, really literally could have gone either way. I mean, I think that's, that's a very, that's a big compliment. And now there are fans that are actually complaining to the FCC and boycotting Fox and the networks and everything because they say that the, the whole voting system was wrong. And what do you have to say to those fans that are like, you know, really trying to get political for you to be the winner? Well, you know, I I, I, I want to say I, I want to thank them simply for their support and all, and then appreciate the fact that they're very supportive and, and, and that they think that way. But, but you know, to me, it's not – I think that a lot of people are probably doing it as a favor to me or what they think is a favor to me. He wants to win. We want to get him to win. We want to get him what he, quote, unquote, they, they think I deserve. But, you know, I really am very happy, and I'm very happy for Ruben. I'm very happy for myself, and I trust the show. I'm, I mean, I was a part of it for – quite a while and I know everybody who's involved with it and I really trust them um, and, and, and it doesn't it doesn't bother me and I think that um, I'd, I'd much rather them in, invest their time into into helping um, you know supporting a charity or doing some volunteer work or something sure. like that than, absolutely than, but they're actually something some good some good use right right Cool, man. Hold on one second. We're going to come back with Clay Aiken. Stand by. Uh, now, I did want to talk about Ruben because when, – now, when was the last time you guys talked? Um, about an hour, half an hour ago. So you guys are – now, is this like a professional deal or do you actually call each other on like the cell phones or what? Oh, we, uh, we talk every day. We're good. We're best friends. We're excellent friends. Really? Oh, yes. That's cool. Now, do, do you guys ever make mention or does he ever like uh, – you know, give you a, like a little friendly ribs or jabs, just saying, man, I see you everywhere because I'm going to be honest with you. I think I see Clay Aiken more than I see Ruben anywhere, and he's the winner. Well, you know, we don't talk about it. We just talk about other stuff. We talk about stuff that we're doing on tour, stuff that we're, you know, friends that we, sh you know, mutual friends and, and that type of thing. We we really don't make mention of any of the uh, any of the publicity stuff or the or the songs or, the, or any of that type of thing. Simply because I think the whole country wants the two of us to be in competition so badly, right? That uh, that we're tired of it. You know, we're really? we're not a competition. I support him. He he supports me wholeheartedly. You know, we're just we we both are totally totally focused on on how much we support each other and that and that's all that really matters to us you know if he ruben's got ruben's going to be on the cover of rolling stone in a week or two he is so, uh, okay cool that's good that they're going to like you know hook him up as well yeah he's um, i mean we, we're both very supportive of each other and and so we don't even talk about the competition thing or the or the who's who's seen more and who's done this and who's done that we don't discuss it 
Who's getting more chicks? Ruben. Ruben definitely is the is the is the pimp of the group. Yeah. <laughs> he, he is not ashamed. <laughs> really, he's the pimp. Now, is he giving you some side ass or what? Are you grabbing any uh, you know leftovers? Or he, <laughs> he um we well the people who are uh, the people who like me are kind of crazy. Some of the ones who have Re- crazy. <laughs> Really? No, they're not. Now, all. Would you say that the homosexual uh, community is grasping onto you more than Ruben? Um, I well, I I don't well, I, I don't know what to say about that. Really? Well, I don't know that I, I don't know that uh, you know, hey, a fan's a fan, right? So, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. About to see that. Now, here's a question: When you were in school, because you're 24 now, right? Right. And you were going to college and everything. Now, when you were at school, were you like a popular kid, or were you like the kid that was always just focused on like the drama club, or you know, tell me what kind of kid you were in school? We didn't have. I was the I was the um the class president kid you know i uh i hung out with pretty much everybody so you were like a real smart kid um i was smart but i didn't act it that's for sure <laughs> i didn't do my homework it was horrible i'm really? bad i was a bad influence on kids i didn't do my homework when i was in high school and i tried to slip behind on a uh, on on just doing my tests and getting good grades on tests and that type of thing but um i didn't uh, I, got you. I was you know i kind of I hung out with everybody when i was in high school because i i mean i knew i knew most everybody i went to a somewhat small small school. Do you still talk to anybody at all back there? Yeah, I do. I have some friends who I went to high school with. They came out and saw me on the show and and uh, and they're they're all in different cities now, but um as we go through their city, they're all going to come see the tour. That's cool, man. All right, I had one or two other questions to ask you. Hold on. 